everyone! I've come on today to do a tag that I saw that I thought was super interesting. Um, I watched... The last person I watched do this tag was Nikki Tutorials. And I'm trying to think who else did I see? I think Fleur de Force did it. Anyway, it's a quite an interesting tag and I thought I'd come on and do it for you guys. It's the TMI tag and it's 50 questions, I think. 50 questions. So let's get started. Number one, uh, what are you wearing? I'm wearing black yoga pants, this striped, it's kind of like a dress, stretchy fabric, uh, three quarter length sleeves. That's what I'm wearing. Um, earrings, wedding ring, underwear, that kind of thing. Number two, have you ever been in love? Yes, I've been in love three times. Number three, ever had a terrible breakup? No. All of my breakups were, well, I mean, any breakup is terrible, but if you mean like terrible as in gnashing of teeth and throwing things or angry, no. Have I had my heart broken? Yes. So I suppose, yeah, I have had a terrible breakup. How tall are you? I am a five foot six and a half, allegedly. On my driver's license, I'm five foot seven. Number five, how much do you weigh? Not gonna tell you. Gotta have some secrets. Number six, any tattoos? Yes, I have one, two, three, four. Is that right? One in the back of my neck, one on my shoulder, one on my lower back, and one on my thigh. I have four tattoos. Any piercings? Yes, I have two in this ear and one in this ear. OTP. I had to ask my daughters what that meant. And from what I understand, it means one true pair, like peanut butter and jelly. Or, um, my one true pair, salt and vinegar. Mmm. That combination. Did a squiz. Number nine, favourite show. I think my favourite show of all time was Breaking Bad. I was hooked on that. So, at the, so, but that's run through. I've seen all the seasons. Right now, my favourite show would have to be... What's that one? The one with the, the people in the Jon Snow. What's that one called? Game of Thrones. I think that's a great show. Number 10, favourite bands. Do I have any favourite bands? You 2 Um... You 2 ABBA was a great band. Aerosmith. Beyonce is a single artist, but I think she's fantastic. Um, Prince, amazing. What is something you miss? Number 11. Uh, my family in Ireland. Uh, my parents, my brothers and my sister. Number 12, my favourite song. My favourite song of all time is A Case of You by Joni Mitchell. Number 13, how old are you? I am 42. Number 14, what is your zodiac sign? I am a Capricorn, born on Christmas Eve. Number 15, a quality you look for in a partner. Kindness, there you go. Number 16, favorite quote. Um, it's by Helen Keller. It's the one that pops into my mind um, when I'm asked this question. It goes something like, uh, the most beautiful things in life are neither seen nor touched, but felt within the heart. Something like that. Number number 17, favourite actor. <sighs> That's a toughie. My favourite actor. There's so many good ones. I don't know that there's any movie I would go to see because I love the actor. I love the old school actors. I like Robert De Niro. I like Christopher Walken. I like that kind of, those kind of guys. Um, although I have to say uh, Channing Tatum, hello. Number 18, favourite colour. My favourite colour is a fuchsia. Let's see if I have anything fuchsia to show you guys, hold on. Fuchsia! They're coming out quite pink there but that beautiful, aren't they lovely? That beautiful um, fuchsia colour. That's my favourite colour. Music loud or soft? Uh, soft. Don't like anything too loud in my ears. 
20 where do you go when you are sad I go and I lie down my bed I love my bed have a good old sob under the duvet number 21 how long does it take you to shower I am the world's fastest showerer it takes me approximately three minutes if I'm not washing my hair seven minutes if I'm washing and conditioning my hair crazy huh um, Number 22, how long does it take you to get ready in the morning? It depends. If I'm going somewhere um, all day, it could take me about an hour, you know, to do my hair, maybe over an hour. My hair is a big job. Um, this top knot here takes me about five minutes. And this makeup this morning took me about half an hour. So, and that's including wing liner and lashes and a red lip. Um, so... On average, I take it takes me about 40 minutes to an hour to get ready. Number 23, ever been in a physical fight? Uh, no, I didn't fight back. That just sounds lame. I was, I was set upon by a girl in high school. Turn on. Mm, physical turn on? Laughter. Somebody who can make me belly laugh big turn on. Turn off people who take themselves too seriously. 26. The reason I joined YouTube. The reason I've joined YouTube is I started watching a lot of um, beauty gurus and vloggers and that kind of thing and I figured hey let me give it a go. So there's a reason. Curiosity. Fears. I don't like snakes. Oh I don't like snakes. So biggest fear is snakes. And then I'd have to say being buried alive. Yeah, that's happy. The last thing that made you cry, I think it was something I watched involving animals. The last thing that made me cry. Feck it, onions. Um, Last time you said you love someone. Gosh, I say it all the time. I say it all the time to my kids and my husband. Um, in a text to my husband as he is traveling at the moment. Um, the meaning behind your YouTube name. Um, my channel name is Sassy Lulu. It's named after my daughters, Sarah and Elena. We used to call Sarah Sassy when she was a baby and we called Elena Lulu, so Sassy Lulu. And Nicola Maria. Hello, that's my name. The last book I read, from cover to cover, here, let me look it up. James Patterson. Da, 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 da. This is your hold music. Do, 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 please hold. Do, 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 do. Do 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 do. Da 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 da. We did it twelve of never. Da 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 da. Hold on a minute. It was James Patterson. James Patterson, and Maxine Petro. Twelfth uh, of never. Da 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 da. The book you are currently reading. Um, it is a book that I have had in my possession for quite some time and it is called Something More by Sarah Bond Bradnock. Um, that's an Irish name by the way and it's spelt, her last name is spelt B-A-N-B-R-E-A-T-H-N-A-C-H or N-E-A-C-H and it's pronounced Sarah Bond Bradnock. Um, it is a book about finding something more. Um, as in kind of a, it's a spiritual kind of a metaphysical book metaphysical self improvement but in the more on the more spiritual side oh she's a, she's the woman who wrote simple abundance she was featured on oprah but i particularly like this book and it is a slow read for me because i like to take it all in there you go uh, last show you watched i am at the moment catching up on the once upon a time series on netflix the last person I talked to was my daughter Elena when I asked her where she put my lipstick. <laughs> um, the relationship 
between you and the person you last texted. I last texted my husband who landed in Barcelona this morning. So um, that would be my husband, my spouse. My favorite food. I'm not keeping up with the numbers here. This is driving me nuts. Number 36, Your fav my favorite food. My favorite food would have to be bacon and cabbage the way my mother makes it. Um, it sounds weird because bacon in the United States is like um, something you have for breakfast. Bacon in Ireland is a cured ham kind of a thing. Um, there's two types that she makes. She makes the um, big piece of ham and then she also makes ribs but not they're not smoked or anything like that and then you boil them. It sounds weird but trust me it's really good. Number 37, place you want to visit. We just had this conversation over dinner the other night and funny enough, I've been a lot of places, but one place I would like to visit um, is London. I've never been to London. I have been to England. Um, I've been to Devon. Um, I've been to Liverpool. I think I've been to Manchester, but I've never actually been to London town. So I would like to visit London. For number 38, the last place you were. If that means like vacation was Las Vegas. Do you have a crush? <sighs> Pfft. No. Last time you kissed someone? Um, last night. My little boy before he went to bed. The last time you were insulted? Hello, welcome to YouTube. The last time I actually I haven't gotten too many insults on YouTube recently, but right before Christmas, they said something about me being old. Terrible. Um, 42 favorite f favorite flavor of sweet. I enjoy strawberry. 43. What instruments do you play? Guitar. I used to play the violin. Not very well, but I took lessons. Um, and that's pretty much it. And voice. Voice is an instrument. I play that one on the daily. Last sport you played. I think we were on vacation and we were playing baseball. Last song you sang, uh, I put a spell on you. Nina Simone has a version of it. I think Credence Clearwater Revival has a version of it. Um, I'm learning it for a project, a band that I'm in. But we don't have a name yet, otherwise I would have said that that was, our fa uh, that was my favourite band. Um, but the last song I sang was I Put a Spell on You. Look it up, it's a good song. Um, favourite chat up line? I like corny chat up lines, there's two that pop into mind. One is, you must be tired. Person says, why? Because you've been running through my mind all day. Um, and then the other one was, did that hurt? And you're like, did what hurt? When you fell out of heaven? Have you ever used it? I just used it there a minute ago. But to pick somebody up? No. <laughs> I don't need chat up lines. I have an accent. <laughs> the last time you hung out with anyone? Well, I hung out with my kids yesterday. Good times. But hung out, hung out. Let's see, my last girlfriend that I hung out with was... Friday two weeks ago. Friday last week. Not yet. Not the last Friday, the one before. About a week ago, I hung out with a girlfriend. Um, and number 50, who should answer these questions next? Anybody who wants to. I will leave a list of the questions down below if you are interested in doing this tag. Okay, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.